Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy 100 Hate, and I'm back with another tutorial. And today I'm gonna show you how you can turn your amazing dirt house into this gorgeous medieval style build with a little horse bay. In here, we do have a full functioning house. We do have some storage as well as all the utility blocks up here. Great views, great look, super happy with this build. And let's get right into this. Just before we get started with this build, I want to let you guys know the whole build list, all these blocks here, will be down in the description below with the exact number. Quick disclaimer with the build list, it depends on what you want to do. So the main f uh, part of the build, like the main block is birch. You can use either birch planks or stripped or both. Uh, so this is going to be a ranged material. You do what you guys think you want to do but this build tutorial specifically i'm going to be sticking with just the birch here um yeah so again if you want you can texture it with the planks i think it looks awesome this is the completed look of the build and let's get right into the actual building so to start off the actual build this is the exact layout of where you're going to be placing blocks on the brown you will be placing uh stripped spruce logs so on the main part of the build you will go five high with these which is going to be your left square and then once you get all of the main parts build you're going to connect them together with the same logs just connecting sideways once you get all the logs placed down for the main part of the structure we're going to come over to the horse stable and what you're going to do is you're going to go four high with these logs and then you're going to cut back in and connect it to the main part of the build and make sure you also connect these together because that will affect the look of the build later on now that you have the main part of the structure build what you're going to do is you're going to come in with the block of choice for the walls and you're just going to go around the main part of the frame and just get this sorted up you're going to want to go four high with these uh you can go five high i suggest going four because we will make some adjustments inside for the flooring later on in the video and then once you come to the front the horse stable should be on the right side and then what you're going to do is right in the center you're going to do a single doorway to the left by one block you're going to do one window and to the right you're going to do another so it should just look like this and then you're going to come on to the left part of the build on the first spot you're going to do a window on the second slot you're going to leave blank on the back you're going to do two more windows just like that you can fill that in with whatever color glass i just choose to do regular glass with this one just because my texture pack but it's up to you guys now that we have our window slots sorted out what you're going to do is you're going to want to come to the front left side of the build and you're going to have stairs all the way on that side going one block out the front and one block out the back next what you're going to do is on the front you're going to do an upside down stair against that you're going to go one block up one stair next you're going to go one block behind the stair one block up one stair on top and you're going to do that two more times until you get this height here so it should be a total of three with the two blocks plus stair and then you will have the one with the one stair one block one stair and then you're going to want to copy that exact same thing on the other side so the back of the building you're going to want to do that exact same thing once you get the height figured out and you get all of that laid out on the one side you're then going to come on to the other side and instead of doing that stair on the front like you did on the other side what you're going to do is you're going to start off with the upside down stair right on this corner post and then you're going to continue the exact same thing that we just did so it's going to be the one block up stair and then you're doing two blocks up with a stair until it should be one block apart just like so and you're going to copy that again on the other side so now that you have the frame of the house sorted out including the roof what you're going to do is you're going to want to finish off the very last part of the stone bricks what you're going to do is you're going to come to the top of the roof at the front and you're going to place an upside down stair you can place it facing into either side of these and then you're going to face away from the build and go one up and then you're going to face the build again and do another upside down stair creating this little staircase upside down outwards just to give it a little bit more peak to it 
Then what you're going to do is you're going to want to go back on top of here with your stone brick slabs and build it all the way across to the other side. On the other side, you're going to then want to do the same thing. You're, you do the upside down stair, then you do the one facing away from the build and one facing into the build. And that is the entire roof sorted out. The last thing that you need to do is just fill in some blocks. The blocks that I'm choosing for this is the deep slate brick stairs. It's a so what you're going to do is you're going to just fill in the blocks accordingly. Again, you already have everything laid out for you. So you just need to fill it in in the middle with your deep slate. Once you have finished placing in all of your deep slate bricks into the build for the main roof, then what you're going to want to do is we're going to build the roof for the horse stable. This is going to be done using only stone brick slabs and deep slate brick slabs. Um, again, we're doing the same thing where you're outlining the roof with your regular stone and then you will be doing the main part of the roof with your deep slate. So what you're going to do is you're going to come to the far side of the horse stable and do a half slab block on top or on the top half of the block. And then you're going to stick it out one on each side for this you're then going to go in one on the same level and then place a slab on top in one on that upper level one on top and you're going to do that until you reach all the way in to the build and do the one on top just to have that same shape all the way through you're going to do that on both sides and then what you're going to do is you're going to want to place the deep slate brick slabs on the same level as the top block all the way through and if you do it correctly everything should fill in super nicely and it should just be a clean transition from the one angle to the next looking approximately like so hey guys future hate here i forgot to add this part in you're going to want to grab any block of choice for your floor as well as any slab of choice for your floor um, and then you're also going to want to grab your stripped logs again uh, for the floor you just fill in the bottom layer on the third and a half block space here on the very top of that fourth block you're just going to place in slabs on top of those slabs you're going to want to place in the white wool i forgot to add that in later in the video i do show me breaking out this area though um, and i also forgot to add in on here what you're going to do is right on that uh sh spruce there you're just going to place in your uh, birch logs all the way up both sides sorry about that guys once you finish placing down the floor and this wall on both sides of the upper level you then want to go around and place in all your glass blocks on the top and the bottom layer just like you see in the video next what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab your stone brick slabs and at the very top layer here like right on that beam you're going to go on the top layer of that beam and just do one row of slabs all the way across on both the back and the front side of the build this is very crucial to the detailing part which is right now then what you're going to want to do is you're going to do one fence gate right in the corner and then you're going to go to a stair just one block diagonal left to the window and then you're going to do three fence gates underneath the window and then you're going to do the exact same on the other side here so it should be two fences total and then five fence gates on top of the fences what you're going to do is you're going to place down two light sources then at the very top here what i like to do is i just like to add three more fence gates to give it a little bit more of a detailed look you're going to want to do this on both sides of the build now that you've added the detail to the top of the build, we're gonna go to the bottom part of the build and finish the detailing on the three walls on this side, and then we'll move on to the horse stable. To start, at the very front, what you're gonna to wanna to do is in the top left, in the top right corner, do an upside down slayer, just to give it like a little bit of an arch. Underneath the two windows, you're gonna do one stair out, upside down, and then on the side of those stairs, you're gonna place dark oak trap doors like so just to make it look like this is an actual standing piece and it looks really good. Then what you're gonna do is to the left on the window, so on the outside of the windows, you're gonna place two open spruce trap doors, just like so, that kind of gives it the look like there are blinds. And then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna place your door in, and then over the windows, you're gonna place two light blocks in. 
And moving on to the left side of the build, what you're gonna do is underneath the window, you're gonna use your two dark oak fence gates, or uh, sorry, your trap doors, and then your upside down stair again. And then above that, you're gonna place your lantern and do two more stairs upside down like so. On the second part of the cubby, you're gonna do your two upside down stairs again. And then you're just gonna do three upside down stairs like so. This later on, you can put lantern or you can put uh, flower pots. What I like to do is have the lamp up top, do like one or two flower pots on here just to add like a little bit of color by putting like a corn flower or something like that in there. On the back of the build, you're gonna do this again and you're just going to go upside down stairs with your dark oak trap doors once again. And then you will also be doing the uh, blinds here with these fence gates upside down stairs on both of them with the lantern right in the middle this will allow light to be on all sides of the build you can also put flower pots on these little spots that is your choice and then on the side again make sure you add your little shutters here it does make a huge difference on the build for looking but then what you're going to want to do is come around to the fence or the stable sorry what you're going to do is one fence gate or one fence post two fence gates and one and then it's fence posts all the way around connecting all the way through the back like so on the inside of your stable you're going to do light block here light block there upside down stairs connecting these all together including at the very front again this is a very part of the crucial uh detailing just because it adds a lot more uh, variation other than straight squares all the way through it now you have a little bit of archways which makes a huge difference when looking at this now it's time to finish decorating the inside part of the stable first what you're gonna want to do is come to the back corner and you're gonna want to add four hay bales you can add them either straight up or you can go sideways with them or do both just for a little bit of different uh, styling in the corner and then in the front area, what you're going to do is you're going to place down three slabs like so and just flip them all up. So you have your inside block here that's open and you're going to place water in there just like that. Next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab your coarse dirt and just break a bunch, bunch of random blocks. It doesn't all have to be turned over. You can leave some grass in here, but for the most part, you want a lot of it to be coarse dirt just because this is a high traveled area for the horse. And I mean they're not gonna be a lot of grass in a horse stable. So that is it for the horse stable. You can add your pathways coming out from the horse stable as well as coming out from the main doorway. Next, we're gonna to move to the interior of the house. Now that we've finished detailing the whole exterior of the house, we're gonna move on to the inside. So first, what I'm gonna say is add your bed right underneath the left window when you're facing inwards. Then you're going to want to grab oak stair, oak fence, oak pressure plate, oak trap door, oak stair, and your lantern. What you're going to do is you're going to build like a little table. You're going to do fence right in the middle. You're going to do stair facing into the fence on both sides with a pressure plate on top. Right above that, you're going to place a little lantern. That way there's some light. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to grab your spruce stairs and one block away from the window, you're going to place going up. And then you can add upside down stair, go up, upside down stair, up, upside down stair, and then break that block and go up. And then you're just gonna let yourself have access to getting up there by breaking the blocks to, that you need to. So you have a clean stairway all the way up. Then going back down the stairs, what I like to do is add a little bit of trap doors to them. It just makes it seem like there is a little uh, protector for you trying to go up the stairs so that way you can't fall off as easy even though you still can. Makes it look like you can't. Then coming up top here, what you're going to do is you're going to want to add some lanterns. So I would just place two like this or you can have one hanging down from the ceiling and grab a couple chains, go down like two, three blocks. Then you're going to want to grab your purpose blocks. So these can be whatever you want. It's all up to you for this. Uh, but what I like to do is on the side that there's stairs, you place down all of your furnaces beside each other. Then you go your anvil, your crafting table, your smithing table and your ender chest. And then on the other side, 
you just do double chest all the way across. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I do apologize. I was a little tired when recording this after a long day of work. I also want to apologize for the little bit of background noise you could hear in some of the clips. Uh, this is the completed build though. I am very happy with the way this looks and I hope you guys implement this in your own builds. You can post it in my discord link will be in the description. But with that being said guys, thank you so much for watching and have yourselves a good day and see you on the next one.